Hey guys, um, I'm going to make a quick video on the MSR uh, rear tail motor. I've seen on uh, YouTube people had their motors toward the uh, the end. This part right here will actually pop off during the crash. Um, I haven't had that happen yet, luckily, but what I did um, is I put a piece of heat, uh, heat shrink tubing over it. And uh, you can buy this at Radio Shack. I forget, it's like a few bucks or something. You get an assortment of different sizes. And um, it actually slides right over the end of the motor. And then uh, when it shrinks, it keeps the end on it. it keeps it from popping off. So all you need is some sh uh, shrink tubing. Um, just a pair of scissors. Something to cut it with. And then a heat gun. Something to, uh, to heat it up. And keep it from... We'll keep the... This tubing to melt, make the tubing melt. Anyway, um, I had it on there already, but I cut it off so I can put another one on so I can show you how I got it on there. Um, I'll set the camera down. All right. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the little piece here in the back, the little fin. So I put the uh, heat gun on. The heat gun's pretty hot. And uh, I don't want to melt it. So all you do is just, it just pops right off. And then a uh, tail rotor blade. Alright. So now I just have the motor by itself. And then I get a piece of street, uh, heat shrink tubing. But yeah. I'm going to use this size here because it's pretty much the same the same size as the motor. It just slides right on. Alright, so I'm just going to cut it maybe just a little bit longer than the motor so that way when it shrinks it wraps around the end of it and uh, holds it to it. So it just slides right on. Okay, that's too long. Cut off a little bit more. It doesn't add a whole lot of weight. I mean, I, I had it on there for a while, and it flies fine. I can't really tell the difference. There. Alright, so I slid it on. You can see how far it goes. It's not quite all the way to the end. And I have a little bit just barely sticking out past the end cap. Let me push on a little more. Alright. Shrink it now. Hold it too long. So I want to melt the plastic in the back. And that's it. You can see it, uh, see how it pulls it around? It's kind of blurry, but. I said it just holds uh, the end of it, shrinks around, and keeps the cap on. And this worked out pretty good. I haven't had no problems with it. But that's just a real quick, easy way, just a little bit. Uh, Heat shrink tubing for wires, you know, the sell these at Radio Shack, a pair of scissors and a heat gun. Or hair dryer, I guess a hair dryer would probably work. Or a lighter if you're kind of quick, you know, you can hold it underneath and just something hot to, to melt the heat shrink. And that's it right there.